Do proton and pump, pump inhibitors work? Acid reflux medication. That's what I'm going to talk about today. So functional dyspepsia or acid reflux is most commonly reported to be the symptoms of bloating, stomach pain, early satiety, nausea, and burping. And despite this being a very, very common problem, what are the approved treatments in the America and in Canada and the European Union? There are none. So what do people use? Because there are no approved treatments, what do they use? Well, one of the things is baking soda. And baking soda is okay, however, it does have sodium bicarbonate in it, and in too much of a dose, it can be toxic. So here's my recommendations. Number one, don't use too much. And number two, don't use in children, pregnant women, alcoholics, or if you're on diuretics, because it can cause problems. What about acid blocking drugs? And how many of you right now in my class are or were on an acid blocking drug? All right, lots of hands are going up. These are proton pump inhibitors. They actually turn off acid production in the cells in your stomach. And it's a very lucrative business. How about $25 billion a year and growing? Do they work? I want to show you a study. This is one study. PPIs were effective in 31% of the patients, 31% of the time. Not bad but they also had a placebo group getting a sugar pill and it was effective 26% of the time. So 5% more effective than nothing. They aren't always that effective and they are not without risk. What kind of risk come with PPIs? Pneumonia, fractures, because you don't absorb calcium without acid. C. diff, now this is a nasty intestinal infection that can kill you, and that's because when we start turning off acid in our stomach, we change the pH of our gut, and that's a bad thing to do. Heart disease, dementia, and increased death. Is that enough? Let's look at a few of these. How about increased death among early users? All right, here is uh, up to 90 days, 180 days, a half a year to a year, two years, you can see the, the thing is just climbing. You're not meant to be on proton pump inhibitors long term. We know one of the reasons you might die is because it decreases nitric oxide. Now, if you're taking my course or read my book, you know this is a miracle molecule you don't want to be decreasing. It helps heart function, artery function, and it helps men not to have erectile dysfunction. We now know too that it increases plaque in the brain and causes dementia when you're on a proton pump inhibitor. What they did in this experiment was they took cells, they put them in a dish, and then they added a proton pump inhibitor. And what did they see? The cells produced amyloid plaque. Now amyloid plaque is the stuff that gums up your brain and leads to dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So they went on and tried two more, Prozac and Nexium, same thing. What about the largest study to date on dementia and proton pump inhibitors? What did they find? The conclusion was avoiding proton pump inhibitors may prevent dementia. Now, you know, this is a significant problem in America. Half of all people in their 80s are going to have Alzheimer's disease and it's occurring earlier and earlier. This could be part of the reason. Despite the evidence, we have a cultish desire to use more and more and stronger and stronger drugs to turn off the acid in our stomach. Mounting evidence de uh, demonstrates that PPIs are associated with a number of adverse effects and are overprescribed. How much? 50 to 57 percent of the time they're inappropriately prescribed. So what's the solution? If you're not going to do baking soda, if you're not going to do acid re uh, stopping drugs, fix your systems. And we want to fix every one of your systems, but especially the digestive system. And I have had lots and lots of patients go through my seven systems plan course and be able to get off 
uh, acid reflux medications. Now you do have to kind of know what you're doing because when you stop taking those drugs, your body's gonna crank out a lot of acid. So Larry's one of our patients who was able to get off a proton pump inhibitor and he had been on this for many, many, many years. In fact, he got off 10 different prescriptions. And we have someone else who is in the class who got off uh, anti an acid reflux medication. And how long were you on the medication? I was on them um, probably 15 oh, years, 10 to 15 years. Okay. And you started the plan and then after 12 yeah. weeks? Yeah, we started this in May and uh, by the time I'd almost reached my goal, uh, the 1st of August, I decided to go off of it because I heard how bad they were for you and uh, I didn't have any problem. As long as I'm eating the right foods, the foods that's, uh, that we learn to eat here, lots of fruits and vegetables, stay away from the foods that causes heartburn, and I've been fine. And how much weight do you have off now? 60 pounds. 60 pounds, mm -hmm. and a graduate. Give him a hand, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you want information on this, look at chapter two in my book or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information.